Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom style for any effects filter or local adjustment in On One Photo Raw. Now a style, you may actually have already used them and not know. They're a little different than presets. They're specific to the particular filter or adjustment you're working with. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a photo here and I can open up the preset panel, command or control left arrow and I can choose any preset that I want. As we know, a preset is going to apply a series of filters and adjustments to our photo. So I'll just pick this one here called Dark Twilight, and we can see that a bunch of different things got added to the effects panel here. That clobbered everything else that I'd already done. Sometimes you just want to save a particular look for an individual filter that you like. Now you can create presets and insert them, you know, right clicking on a preset and inserting it into your existing filters. I find that to be a little bit of a cumbersome workflow. So I turn to what are called styles. Let me undo this change here. So I'm back to my previous photo where I had just a single dynamic contrast adjustment. And what styles are uh, is if you've ever used any one of these buttons in any of the filters, you're using a style. They're under the more area, and these are all different styles of this adjustment. They're presetting the different sliders. You notice they use the word presetting. That's what they're doing. And that's why sometimes they get confused with presets, but a style is specific to an individual filter. Now, I like to use split tones on a fair number of my photos, and so I've created a few styles of split tones, kind of as finishing touches for my photos. I don't have to add a preset, but I can still save all of those and have them very easily accessible in my workflow. So these are all styles that came with the split tone filter. If I open up more, all these ones at the top where I put SD in front of them, my initials, those are all just my individual ones. Uh, don't worry about zone finder, that one's nasty. But um, here we go, like uh, Pink Twilight looks nice on this photo, so I'm going to select it. And what this style has done, it's when I created myself, it's adding you know pink tones and the highlights and purple tones into the shadows. How you create a style is very simple. Dial in all the different settings that you like, come up to the more option here, and then just say save a new style. You'll give it a name. I tend to prefix mine with my initials so they stand out to me and I can easily distinguish them from what's been provided in the software itself. And that is as simple as it goes. You can also manage your styles if you need to delete any, like uh, this is own finder one if I didn't want to have that anymore because I really don't need it anymore. I could choose that from the menu, hit delete, and that'll be gone forever. So those are styles in On One Photo. They work for effects filters. They work for local adjustments. One other thing I'll note is they will also save basic masks. So you're masking bugs. Those get saved as part of the style. I prefer not to work with uh, masks in my styles. I'll add the masking on later if I need to. That's just a personal preference, but you can add them in if you wanted to create, I don't know, like a, a sky darkener preset where you're taking the exposure down some level off of the sky. You put a graduated uh, filter on there and then you're good to go. So those are styles. Hope you found this useful. You got questions about photography, leave them in the comments below. Contact me through my website. And thanks very much for watching.